Hey folks, Anusha here, and I've got a GitHub feature for you to check out. So if you've been following along all of the GitHub changelog posts, you've seen all of the amazing new features that we've shipped recently. But for these videos, we'll be hearing more from the folks that have actually built these features and see a demo of them too. So for today's video, I'll be hearing more from Max, who'll be letting me know what's been going on in the GitHub mobile world. Max, over to you. Hi, I'm Max. I'm an engineer on the GitHub mobile team. Today, I want to talk you through something really cool that we've been building recently a new filtering and metadata experience. We've had some rudimentary filtering before, but it was all very limited and simple, and we knew we wanted to do more. When thinking about solutions to this, though, we wanted to make sure we keep it simple, but at the same time, give you all of the tools that you could possibly need if you really want to filter down to something super specific. And what we've come up with, I'm going to run you through now. Going forward, if you open one of our discussions, pull request, or issues list views, you'll see a new bar at the top. And our entire previous filtering experience is located in just that first cell at the very beginning here. So there's a lot more going on. And if you tap that cell, we'll give you a list of options. And if you tap one of these options, as you would expect, we filter down the list in the background to just that choice, close issues in this case. We'll also color that cell blue so you always know exactly which filters are active and what's going on at all times. But of course, you can do this across a whole variety of different filters, including more complex ones, such as labels. And because labels are based on user-generated content, we wanted to take it one step further and give you a nice suggestion experience by bringing up a sheet from the bottom. And that sheet actually goes to the repository you're looking at and gets all of the labels that are available on it, including custom created ones, like this hello GitHub checkout one that I created here. And if you tap on one of these, as you would expect, we filter down the list in the background to just the items that have that label. But here you can even multi-select. And if you're, for example, only interested in issues that have both the important and the bug label, you can totally do that and we now also indicate that with that counter up here. One more thing that I wanted to talk about is the cell at the very end here, sort. Now that one does exactly what you think it would. They give you a sort experience, and that may not sound particularly exciting, but we've actually never had sort on mobile before, so it's really cool. And if you ever wanted to sort your issues by the number of thumbs up, you can totally do that now. And finally, one more thing that I wanted to talk about is a couple of small adjustments that we made to how we render some of these items you may have already noticed that some of these now have little avatars, and those are the people who are assigned to that issue or pull request. But for pull requests, we took it one step further and we now also show check and review states. So you can immediately see if checks are passing or failing, or if somebody has reviewed your PR and has approved or requested changes. And that should help you to immediately know which PRs require your attention the most without ever having to open them. And that's pretty much it. We've been working on these and testing these internally for a little while now, and we really like them so far. So we hope you will too. Wow, Max, can I just say how much I love these improvements? I love everything that you just showed about it. This is pretty, pretty cool. So I know I'm eager, eager to use it. So when can users start using it? You can use these right now on both our Android and iOS mobile apps on any list that shows you discussions, pull requests, or issues. Great, fantastic. And what's the best place that users can give you feedback? The best place to do that is via our public feedback repository. And getting to that one is super easy. If you're on mobile, just head over to your profile, settings, share feedback, and then feature request. That will take you directly to the discussions page on the public feedback repository, pre-filtered to the mobile feedback category using our new filtering experience. But if you want to give feedback through the website, that's totally cool too. Just go to github.com forward slash github forward slash feedback. Make sure you hit the discussions tab and then filter down to the mobile feedback category if you want to give us feedback specifically. Once there, no matter on the website or on the apps, you can create new discussions, participate in existing ones, or even upvote your most favorite topics. And I promise you, we read every single one of these. So if you've got something cool in mind, please reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Wow, thanks so much for sharing, Max. This is fantastic. So folks, go ahead and check out this feature and let us know what you think about it. You can either um, give us feedback through the ways that Max just showed us, or you can leave a few comments down below or hit us up on Twitter as well. So thanks again, Max, and thanks for listening, folks. And stay tuned for more checkout videos coming your way very soon.